Alright. Um, for our first program, this is Logic 1 Cigar Party. Uh, the question reads, when squirrels get together for a party, they like to have cigars. The squirrel party is successful when the number of cigars is between 40 and 60 inclusive. Uh, inclusive means uh, includes 40 and 60, uh, unless it is the weekend, in which case there's no upper bound on the number of cigars. Return true if the party with the given values is successful or false otherwise. So in the first test case here, we have the cigar party of 30 and false. So 30 is the amount of cigars and false is if it's the weekend or not. So we first we look, oh, it's not the weekend. It's not between 40 and 60. So because of that, we return false. For the second one, it's uh, also a false for a weekend, but we have 50 cigars here, which is between 40 and 60. So we return true. Uh, in the third th test case, we have true for is weekend and 70 for the number of cigars. Because of it's true, um, we can have more than 60 and still be a party, so it returns true. So here in the program here, we have the method cigar party, which will return a boolean. And we have two parameters, which is in cigars and boolean is weekend. So like we did when solving the test cases by hand, we want to check if is weekend is true. To do that, we do if is weekend. Oh, my bad. Then, uh, and we can have an else or, yeah. So in this else, we just want to check if the number of cigars is greater than or equal to 40 and it's less than or equal to 60. Then we want to return true. Um, here, if it is the weekend, then we can have, we have first have to check if it's greater than or equal to 40, because no matter what, we have 40, even if it is the weekend. But because it doesn't matter, for the upper bound, if it is a weekend, we don't need the second statement. So we can just leave it like this and then return true. And because we're checking for all test cases for true here, we don't have to check, we don't have to check the individual else statements for false. So here at the end, we can just return false. And that should give us our answer. 